Clover Classic Custard. The creamy taste that takes you back. Made with love by Clover. Happy Friday, South Africa. Welcome back to Afternoon Express. Now, nothing beats a homemade bun that comes fresh out the oven. So trade in those store-bought ones for our foolproof recipe of Clover Classic custard-filled buns. Now, you know you, you have to try this. It'll keep your guests and your kids coming back for more of that smooth, creamy, and delicious taste of Clover Classic custard. Now, to get this wondrously indulgent recipe sent to your device, SMS the keyword Clover to 33650. SMSs costs one run 50 and free SMSs don't apply. Welcome back to The Loft, Michaela. Good to be back. You're always coming back with some nice sweet treats. For some reason, I keep making bread dough at the moment. I know, I think you're trying to send out a message and my tummy is listening and it's listening loud and clear. I love it though, okay, because I love carbs, I love a good sweet treat and here you're putting all of it together. Exactly, all of us love a bit of bread. Mm. Um, so, considering we've been making a lot of bread in the kitchen as of recent times. Yeah. Um, we aren't going to do the whole process, but I can tell you what happened. Okay. Um, so this dough is made with cream, milk, an egg, so it's an enriched dough, um, flour, salt, Okay, yeast. wait, what does an, en an enriched dough mean? So an enriched dough is a dough that has additional, such as dairy okay. and eggs added into it. Delicious. So this is almost like a brioche, but it doesn't have the butter in it. Okay. Brioche is like a very buttery, delicious, rich mm. bread. I mean, what I can relate the smell to alone is growing up, we make steam bread at home. We call oh. it ujeke. Can you say ujeke? No. Ujeke. Ujeke. I, quite, I can never do the click. We'll be practicing through an ad break, and this smells exactly like how you'd prepare ujeke. It kind of raises itself throughout the day, and that smell just oh, reminds me of home. I love Ooh. it. Let's get stuck in. So, we're going to divide this into two parts because there's such a small amount left. Okay. But um, there would be enough to make between 8 and 12 buns. So then you just make the dough, mm -hmm. um, knead it for about 15 minutes until the dough is smooth. Let it prove for about 50 minutes in a nice warm area. Mm. So it's until it's doubled in size. Uh, knock it back out once it has proven and then we make our buns. Our buns, okay, perfect. So here we're just shaping them into the round. I got the fatter one. Yeah, you did, and that's not fair, but it's okay, I'll just eat it. You can make it, I'll eat the bigger one. <laughs> and then we'll put it onto a tray. Okay. Perfect. Let me grab that for you, Shane. Thank you. Okay. And then the most important ingredient of today is our classic custard mm. from Clover. That is such a mouthful. <laughs> and we're going to put some of that into the pan. Okay, while well, she's putting that into Ooh. the pan. I mean, Clover classic custard, it tastes like homemade custard, so it still has that homely, homemade, granny type vibe to it, but it's super convenient. It comes in a ready to eat container. You just have to warm it up if you like it warm, you can serve it cold. I love the variations you can try with Clover classic custard in the kitchen. This is true, but today we need it to be a little bit thicker. Okay. So we're going to combine some butter with some corn flour. Mm. You can mix those for together for me. Okay, cool. So the and butter's already nice and soft. Yes, it is. It has to be softened. And while you're doing that, I'm going to put the glaze on for the top of the buns. So we're glazing the buns so they can be nice and shiny. So this is going to sizzle. Yeah, not even sizzle a lot. Sizzle, sizzle a little. I think I went a bit crazy with the, um, the stove. Okay, no, no problem. So it's more advisable then to turn down the heat. Exactly. A little bit more. Okay, cool. So that's already browning. Do I add this to the custard? You do, yes. Okay. And the sugar. Look at us putting it together in the kitchen. Okay, can I use another? So you can use this spatula if you'd like. Okay, cool. Because I already dirtied it. Perfect. We're not going to make too much of a mess today. No, we're keeping it clean because I also don't want to be on cleanup duty. Okay, so after we've made the glaze and we've thickened our custard, what's yes. the next step? So then, I'm just going to remove that from the heat for now. Yeah. Sorry. I made a mess. <laughs> okay, cool. And then, once we're done there, Shame. Come if we can move over to the buttons. So, we're just going to use a little knife. So, we've made our glaze and everything. Okay. And our buns have magically appeared, <laughs> as they okay. do on TV. I'm going to cheat and I'm going to use the back of the I spoon. I actually prefer spoons. Really? But there's okay. a knife, so. Then we're just going to... Just going to make an insertion in the side. I like that. There How big go. does it need to be? That's pretty okay? good. Yes. OK. 
Okay. And then we're going to take the custard that we've made once it's thickened, because obviously the cornstarch will then thicken up the custard. Yes. And you're going to squeeze it in. Mm -hmm. Use a firm grip to just... Oh, yeah, this squeeze. needs a little bit of there strength. There go, until huh? you see it come out. Okay. That was a good job. Yay! Okay, cool, perfect. And then can I just start putting the glaze on? Yes. Whilst we finish it off, just so that the viewers <gasps> can see. Oopsie, they, that, that's what happens when you overfill, but I don't think that there's such a thing as too much custard. Never. Okay, cool. I think the end is a bit um, blocked. Michaela, so much for not making a mess in the kitchen. <laughs> now, this definitely is quick and easy treats to try at home. And to do that, SMS the keyword CLOVER to 33650. And if you need a little reminder about the steps, watch this. Made with love by Clover.